Hello YouTube, I'm APC, and today I'm coming at you with another um, tutorial from the Random Tricks series. Today we're going to be creating a flashlight. This is a pretty popular trick. A lot of people use it when they like, have a character walking in a dark area. You can only see within a certain area around it. So today I'm going to show you how to do that trick. So let's get started. Okay, you only need one sprite for this. It's called SPR Darkness. Okay, so we'll start making it 32 by 32 and just fill it in all black. Now go to, go to animation, disappear, and let's make this appear in five frames. The more frames you do, the nicer it looks, but and the more likely your computer's gonna crash. All right, so now let's create an object. We'll call it OBJ darkness. So go to creation event and set image speed to zero. We're doing this because we don't want to cycle through the image, do the um, image index. We want to stay at a specific one, depending on how far it is away from the player or the mouse in this case. So now go to the step event. Now we're going to put down if distance to point mouse x mouse y is less than 64. We want image index to equal 4, which is the fifth subimage in a zero base system. So if any anything within a radius of 64 of the mouse would now be completely clear. So now let's copy that one for the next step. Let's add distance point mouse x mouse y let's say if it's more than 63 could it's one less 64 because oh sorry didn't close this correctly okay for the end at least 63 because it's, uh, then if uh, the object was exact 64 away from the mouse, then it would have no idea what to do. Okay, so for this one, we'll just add 16 each time. So instead of 64, we'll go with 80. And make image index 3, so it's almost clear. Nope. Now let's copy this. This will make one less than that in order to make sure that 80 is covered. And then for this one, we'll add 16 which make it 96. Then for this one, we'll go one down so it's somewhat more opaque. Now for this one, one less than the previous one, so from 96 to 95. For this one, add 16 to 96, make it 112, and we'll go down one more. Now this is the last one. So we'll take away this part. So we'll say, if it's more than 111, it'll be completely dark, which is image index zero. And of course, I forgot the guy said this right. Okay. So now I'm going to create a background. Let's see. I'm going to make this color wheel. All right. Let's create a room. Let's make it 32 at 32 snap. Now, so theoretically, we could just at, fill a whole room with these dark squares and then we'll have it. But... I want to show you a trick of how you don't have to do that because if you if you have a bigger room then that's going to be a real pain. So let's close that. I'm not going to save it. So in order to add the objects to the room automatically, let's create obj darkness spawner. Let's just go to the creation the only event needed. Okay. So now I'm going to introduce a concept which I learned in Java. They're called loops, and there's different types of loops, but today we're going to use the for loop. So we have a for, and then just bra brackets, and then I'll just type it down and I'll explain later. Let's I imagine this makes no sense whatsoever to you at the moment. Alright, so x1 is just a random variable that I made. It doesn't mean anything other than the use I have for it. Now, 
you need to initialize variables. Usually I do that in the creation event, but I learned in Java that you can also do it in other places. So like I can say var x x1, and there it's initialized here. This is more memory efficient as well because this variable will only exist in this area rather than it be the computer needing to keep track of it the whole time. So the way this works is you start out with x1 being 0, and then it goes through whatever I have in here. And once, once whatever in here is done, it'll add 32. And then it'll keep repeating that over and over again until this statement right here is no longer true. So once x is greater than the room width, then it'll stop working. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another for loop. We're going to say for y1 equals 0. And we need to initialize y1, so var y1. You don't need those. Take that. Semicolon y1 less than room height. Semicolon y1 plus equals 32. So then we can add that over there. What we want to happen is every time is um okay so we're gonna put here is instance instance create x oh x one y one obj dark mess okay so let's think this through so here it says x1 equals 0. This thing goes through here and then it says y1 equals 0. So at first x1, y1, it'll create it in the top left corner because that's what the desk for 0, 0 is. 0, 0. And then it goes back to here. 32 is added to y1. And then you create another one, 32 lower than that. And then it repeats that. You can sort of imagine it being created down the column. And once the column's full, or once it reaches the height, we'll go back up to this loop, and 32 will be added to the next one, then we go down to the second column. Let's keep repeating that until the whole room is full. So, here we have our room. I'm going to make it perfectly square by 640 by 640. I'm going to add the background, make it stretch, and then Rather than um, creating all those uh, blocks individually, all I need to do is create the spawner, and it's done. Now let's test it out. And there you go. See, it creates a flashlight around the mouse, and I can see the back. So if you want to make this a little nicer, we can make these squares smaller, because as you can see right now, you can see the squares very easily. So if we made them smaller, then it'll be more fine. It'll be like... If we make it smaller, it'll look better. So let's go to Edit Sprite. Let's go to Transform, Resize Canvas. Let's make it 50% smaller. All right. So now because the width of the width and height are 16 now, we have to change this to 16 and 16 to avoid uh, creating gaps. Now let's go back in. So I see it looks a little nicer, but also. It involves a lot more calculating, so it's going a lot slower now. Or for me, it's lagging a little bit. All right. So now that's done. We're crossing out flashlight on the tutorial list. If anything we want to add to this list, leave it in the comments. Um, thank you for watching. Please write, comment, and subscribe. And you know, if you have any questions, feel, please feel free to um, leave a comment or PM me. Well, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.